So this was kind of tucked away in between things. And I saw it very late, like maybe eight, nine years in. And um, he, it was a little brochure that he wrote. Uh, it's called Raise Your Head Lithuanian. And he wrote it in 1933. He was at the age of 22. And he had just joined the Lithuanian army. He wrote it in Klaipeda, where he was stationed in the Lithuanian army uh, originally. And so when I first looked at it, I thought, oh, this is just going to be like a patriotic thing about how wonderful it is to be Lithuanian or something. And I didn't, I, I was unprepared for, for what I was going to see. And so I started reading it uh, and, and I'm like, it's basically what you just said. You know, Lithuania is for Lithuanians, not the Jews. The Jews are the foreigners. Uh, don't buy any more products for, and from any more Jews, only buy from Lithuanians. Um, it's not fair that the Jews have some of the best positions in Lithuania. And it's essentially going on and on like this for 32 pages. And by the time I finished this, uh, as his granddaughter, I wanted to burn the thing. Um, but I knew as a journalist, I couldn't. And so um, that was already a big turning point for me. Then I thought, okay, this really does establish his anti-Semitism uh, at a very young age, who's 22. He did not, what, what, I, what, what I did tell myself was he didn't call for their murder in the, at that time. So it was just boycotting, uh, which is severe, but it's, it's not murder. And so I still had hope then that maybe I could exonerate him from, from the Holocaust, but uh, of course I wasn't able to.